Okay, Mike. Good morning, afternoon, whatever it is when you watch this. Uh, this is the extended version of the presentation I'm going to show you today. Uh, that presentation is just going to be basically one slide. I'll show you the slide here, but it's just going to be like a sales slide. So this presentation talks all about the website and uh, the web portal and all the properties that are created and how I think I can help your business. But the most important part is that last part is how it can help your business. And that's all I'm going to really talk about to you today. So I figured if you were at all interested, then, you know, maybe you can watch this video after the fact or ignore it. That's what we do. So anyway, let's get going. Intellectual property, all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, uh, this presentation or the PowerPoint itself is still a little bit of a work in progress, so I haven't got the summary yet. Uh, but there, there is a summary, there's some definitions, there's a mission statement, which I'm still working on, and there's some of my background, but this summary doesn't cover everything that's in the presentation yet. Honestly, I kind of ran out of time uh, doing this, so you know we got to meet in front of house. When uh, doing what I can here, so this is what I'm going to ask of you today. Uh, whether you want to consider doing a low risk, high reward project, I think it can take every customer you have, and if they return a thousand bucks to you, it's going to be approximately a thousand or twelve hundred dollars. So the customer is going to be putting more money in your pocket. If you're interested in that, maybe take a look at this video, the slide deck, I'll send that to you too. Um, YouTube channel, internet site, you know, there's all kinds of good stuff. So I guess my point by saying this is, is when I say website, it doesn't mean really website anymore. It means internet presence is a better way to describe it. And internet presence means all this stuff. And, that, and I've set up all this stuff for my own business. So that's what it means to be a, uh, you know, have an internet, have a business on the internet is to have all these things. It's almost like a requirement. Uh, if you would like to proceed, I propose a 50-50 joint venture. Um, I could do all the LLC work or you can have a lawyer draft it up or whatever. So it's all good. Um, how would you like to add more revenue per customer to your current business model by becoming a micro mortgage influencer rather than a mortgage broker or a mortgage lender. So that's going to be an interesting thing for you to consider. What I'm proposing here is not just a site, it's a bit of a shift in your business model. So right now, uh, this is just my take on what the business is. Right now you're a mortgage lender and with this kind of site, because there's a revenue coming in for other reasons now, you become a mortgage lender and, you know, a influencer, a online person, a YouTuber, whatever you want to call it. But because that's bringing in revenue, that kind of affects, you know, that may affect, you know, how you conduct business. So that's going to be something you have to ask yourself. Do you want to bring in revenue from another source or just continue lending, which is completely you're the top dog, so that's bringing in all the revenue. One thing I want to talk about here, Mike, is that I think about six months ago I talked to you about AI and ChatGPT. <clears throat> so my take on that and how it's going to affect the mortgage industry is that you'll see in the site here there's a lot of AI in it that actually does a lot of honestly a lot of mortgage paperwork processing you know, automatically now. And I think in order to future proof your business, you're going to have to move to a model this um, if anything else it's another income stream you know diversification is always a good idea you're less dependent on uh, the mortgage market so this is kind of a hedge against the mortgage market either in a way just by being reliant on internet traffic separate from uh, your mortgage business Okay, we just talked about that. What is a micro mortgage influencer? Is a regular influencer, you know, like you hear in the media. Uh, so 
micro part of it is part of my other media strategy. I'll get into that later, but it's local, it's focused. That's why this is called the civil war nation. That's, that's why the, the social network that we've built up over the years is mostly local. I know it's you know quite a bit national now, but Bread, you know, bread and butter is people buying and selling homes in Northeast Ohio. Um, can I think of a better person to be a mortgage influencer than Mike Bernhardt? I don't think so, man. You're a star. He gets you out of a YouTube channel. He gets you out on your own site that we're talking about here if, you, if you'd like to do it. I think you by yourself drive traffic to a site just because you're you. Hey, that's what makes you good at mortgages too. That's what makes you good at selling. That's what makes you a good person. You know, people like to be around you. They like to hear things from you. You're clearly like the expert in this stuff in this whole area, at least maybe this part of the country or the country. You know, just speaking as you know, I'm envisioning educational videos on I don't know how to interpret the Fed's. You know, could be your take on the you know the Fed's latest open market committee meeting. You know, from Jerome Powell. That'd be kind of a cool thing. You know. Let's take on the market. People would listen to you because you have a very expert opinion. So that is kind of the vision for not just, that's why I don't really call it a website. It's an internet portal and it's really shifting your business model. So how do we do that? How do we turn this traffic into dollars? And actually, I've been struggling with that one technically for a couple of years now. But I finally cracked that nut recently with my own site. Um, it's easier said than done, as it turns out, but it's just ads. So straight up, drive traffic to the site. I hooked up with Google to do their ads, basically drive the ad traffic up, clicks up, money in the pocket. So that's how that works. Definitions, big data, first principle, software suite, application. You can check this stuff out later if you like. Okay, this is your business, so I uh, still need to work on this slide some, but you know, obviously I want to talk about this uh, as well. You've got a business, a real good business that you spent 20 years developing, and I'm basically suggesting that you disrupt it. So I think it's good to talk about what the risks are going to be to your own business. So the internet site could be down or it could fail. And in, in the worst case scenario, this is an extended period, so I'm envisioning putting people on the site to fill out their mortgage applications and all kinds of stuff, you know, keep regular communications with you. I mean, it's a lot of the regular workaday stuff, but people are going to go to the site and have to sit and watch ads. So if the site's down, that only, not only turns our ad machine off, but it also turns your mortgage business off, which is not cool. So at the very least, you have to put some more thought into, you know, fail safes on and, and that eventuality to keep, you know, to keep the mortgage you know, to keep the tap on in the case of this site going down. Um, one other risk I could think of is that I'm going to be supporting this myself. So as you all know, I'm a busy guy. Uh, part of my Eddie MC project is to demonstrate what can be done with an AI these days. So I haven't really got into this with you yet, but I've got this other research study going on. AIs make people about 25 times more effective than you would think they would otherwise normally be. So I administer all these sites. Actually, I come up with a lot of the web content, and you'll see in the newsletter, I actually have an AI writing most of that stuff, actually doing going out to the internet, doing the research, doing the number crunching. That does a couple of job markets. Thank you for the voice on the local mortgage market for Ohio. Uh, I call my AI as Eddie, Eddie O.C. is his name. And he, Actually went out and did all that and wrote the paper and published it on the website. So there's new tools now that's not really hardly anybody knows about that makes that one and a half persons that I'm actually staffed with not so daunting. Back up to that. I actually have a backup plan in place. Uh, my uh, my company is an uh, internet agency and I rely on a cycle of Upwork. Um, and if you say yes. I think it might be a good idea just to hire a remote, probably guy for twenty twenty five dollars an hour as your dedicated IT support guy. Or, excuse me, our dedicated IT support guy, um, just as a cost of the, this business. 
the business is the joint venture. Okay, definitions. I'll put that one back in the way. Okay, I've analyzed your current properties. Okay, you've got a website on Google Businesses. A second. Standard Google My Business page is good to go. One downside to those types of sites is there's no search engine optimization, it's called. So there's this whole other class of, you know, kind of like Google back end tool stuff that you have to pay for, essentially, just more money. But it essentially buys you higher rank on Google. I know from my previous experience that if you get a site on Google for your on Google business like that, only rank your site if you run an ad too, which you are also doing. I see, and I, I took a screenshot of one of the ads you've got running on Google. So I just wanted to talk to you about that one. Uh, just a couple questions. Uh, there's nothing on Bing, so that's actually a big one. Um, everybody focuses on Google for you know 50 or 60 percent of the market, uh, but the other 40% is taken up by 10% of the other 40% like various guys, but 30% of the market is Microsoft Bing. And that includes on cell phones and on computers. So if your business is missing from Bing, you're basically missing out on 30% of your internet traffic. So that one right there is actually really low hanging fruit. Uh, one thing I would suggest even if we don't go with this business combination is to get you on Bing. Percent well, a 90 percent positive that'll put more money in your pocket. It's real easy to do, it'll take like 15 minutes. Uh, you've got a Facebook business property, which is awesome. And here's the best one you've got. Um, this is the Mike Berger and Elmer Mortgage. I think it's related to the Google My Business um, site here, but this has like 20 reviews on it. And you know, this is one of the big deals in search engine optimization is you know, trust on digital properties they call it and that's what this is this uh, google maps google my business digital property is worth a lot because the credibility of it is very high because it's you and it's because there's quite a few user reviews on it too i've created a separate one for the business i've created but it's not worth as much because it doesn't have as much you know internet street cred like this like the armor mortgage one does so if we went forward with this combination, I think that'd be a good idea to include that, include this in it because this internet property you already have is actually worth money. We can get into that later. Okay, this is in my background. This is a slide I actually have from my engineering decks. Uh, I don't know all this. You actually probably know some of this better than I do. So. Um, okay, still working on this slide. Okay, this is what I've created so far. A new website with a new internet domain. Um, I don't know if you've seen these yet, but there's a new uh, main level internet domain called dot mortgage, like this is in place of dot com. So cool thing about this is, you know, there's a whole slew of new internet domains that are up for grabs now with this dot mortgage. So this whole thing right here, this whole web address, and that makes a difference in our Google ranking, like a huge difference. So that was cool. And I plan on doing that in some other cities. Okay, there's a YouTube channel that I'm going to promote you and the business on. Uh, there's a weekly newsletter. I mentioned that already that Eddie's writing. Um, we can also put any author out there. So we put out a paper that you might write or want to write message about the business. Okay. okay. I created a Google My Business listing. Like I mentioned, you already have one that's more valuable than this. Um, and you can use it if you want to. Um, I also created a Bing Places for Business, which is the Microsoft Bing search engine equivalent um, for still mortgage. They don't have one on there. So this will, you know, uh, we should we should set one up for you no matter what happens because this is also really simple to do. It is. Um, 
Okay. Um, I created a Facebook page for the business. Uh, you already have one, which is also more valuable than the one I created. I created a Yelp account for the business, which I don't think you have. And that looks like Yelp is a big um, street cred thing when it comes to Google ranking sites. So if you have a business with a Yelp account, it's worth something. And when I say something, this all equates to getting a higher ranking in Google. And with a higher ranking in Google means more, more traffic. And like I mentioned before, more traffic is more dollars. So that's kind of how this all works together. The reason why all these digital properties are important is because um, it increases your ranking on Google. And you want to be in the top three. And right now, if you are sitting in so you type in Stowe Mortgage into Google, you should come up with Stowe Mortgage Business as the top result. So that's another part of, I guess, an unseen part of what I'm proposing here, Mike, is that uh, I know how to do the ranking as well. So that, that is worth traffic, that is worth dollars. I gotta prove that I can do the ranking with Stowe Mortgage. So if you want to proceed, Look, um, this will make more sense when you see the site. Um, we'll swap your picture out, your likeness, so we don't count one for one for him. And there may be in the articles that he actually writes on the newsletter. We'll probably keep his mug there and his name there, but basically it'll, it'll change from Eddie's Still Mortgage to Mike's Still Mortgage, or however you want to brand it. So we can talk about that. Okay, there's some interesting stuff on there that's not kind of not mortgage related. Um, I have all kinds of data coming in. Um, and it's displayed in various ways with various tools. Um, some local listings, some uh, Kelleher and Shervenic. Uh, this is the newsletter I talked about. There's some data coming in from JP Morgan about mortgage backed securities. Uh, this is just mortgage rates, agent reviews, Zillow reviews. So Eddie synthesizes a lot of this and puts out stuff on the web page. So this is the important part. This is the slide I'm going to talk to you about later today. Okay, this is my interpretation of how the mortgage market sits right now. I'm sure you've seen this before. It's kind of a standard sales funnel. Type mortgage sales funnel on the Google to get this image. But basically, you do a lot of work going down this pyramid. It's increasingly more expensive. And sorry, I cut this off. So, you go down this pyramid and you do all this work, and it gets increasingly more expensive. And it doesn't pay off until the end. So, as the current business model sits, you know, you either you know, get laid jerk off or you don't. You either get paid or you don't. The loan closes or it doesn't close. And there's a big payoff on the end, which is cool. But you have all this other work you do with all these other customers who don't close, especially here in the window shopping stage. And there is no revenue that shows up from any level there except for the last one. And that's how the mortgage business has been for 100, 200 years. There's a new way, or excuse me, an additional way that we can just bolt right onto your own business to start getting, start changing these zeros into something other than zero, into something positive. This is just summarizing what I just said. The state of play stinks because you only get, it's very success driven, I call it. You only get paid if there's a mortgage to close. What if I say we can get paid for all of the, you know, for, you know, have the mortgages that don't close? You know, there's actually money to be had there for those mortgages that you don't work and get any money from. Okay. Just some more observations here. Let me get to the next one. Uh, 
And this is what the ad actually looks like. Um, I included a screenshot of my own site here. Uh, the site is live on Snow Mortgage, but I don't have the ads live yet because that takes another week or so with Google stuff. You know, it's just just ideas don't really do. So I just wanted to include this screenshot to show what the ad actually looks like. You've seen it a million times on other sites. Um, I could have included all the crazy ones that show up they're called banner ads, but I actually didn't want to because I wanted the ads to stay away from the actual stuff. So a user can tip that down. Looks like I just got kicked out of that. Anyway, it's an unobtrusive ad, and I was I'm envisioning showing that ad while somebody's filling out a loan check. Beautiful. You know, you can tell them, hey, go to the site and sit and watch my ads and oh yeah, fill out your mortgage application too. Or maybe it's the other way around, but you know, who cares? You know, it's 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 built in site for that. So uh, this is some other uh, part of the whole package here. I have a whole network of other sites. Um, it's called the I'm in network. Uh, it's called the OC micro info network. I'll explain all that later. Bottom line is you get free promotion on some other sites that rank real high on Google, and they're all around here, and a lot of them buy houses. Okay. Implementation process. If we proceed, okay, we're having our exploratory meeting today. Uh, if we decide to proceed, uh, we implement the LLC first. I'll get into the details of what I propose to uh, the Zunsman LLC. Um, I'll change all the branding, like I mentioned on the site, to uh, Mike's Snow Mortgage instead of Mike's Snow Mortgage. Go live with the site. Um, and then you start conducting your regular business. Um, I, I guess I need to find out maybe when you, it would make the most sense to launch this business when and if you go independent. But this kind of site actually bolts on you know, an armor mortgage type place just as easily. So I, don't, I guess I'll just, my question for you would be is, you know, what? At least how you feel about which way your personal business may go, because uh, it'll affect the design of the site and stuff like that. But the sooner we know that, the easier it'll be to get it implemented. Um, so you conduct your regular business. Uh, Jim provide. Well, I'm going to provide ongoing IT support. Uh, we get it all set up. Uh, hopefully, a weekly call either with you to start or with your IT person uh, going forward, just as a check-in. So I'm dedicating a few hours a day to this, which is, you know, it's significant. You know, about 5% of my time just on the site maintenance. Maybe 10% if I need. Now that's aside from any technology implementation projects or new technology we want to sort the site. You know, we'll discuss the hours that I need to put into that and uh, figure that out from there. Maybe we can put terms of, you know, how we can uh, bill my time into the uh, operating room of the LLC. And your time for that matter. So, um, yeah, I've got a homework that I need to, to do item. I should have thought of that before. After that, um, you write articles for the newsletter. Uh, you conduct business on the site. And we film about one video a week, of which I write the script for. Uh, if, you, if you want, if you want to script something, this is a 50 50 joint venture. Well, you have 50% of the script uh, script approval on the videos. So if you got some ideas, let's talk about them. But I guess what I'm saying is if you don't want to do that, I can do it. I have no problem doing that stuff for you and figure out that because that will have more than enough to do that. Okay, I'm going to provide you a monthly report. And this is one of the cool things about this business model is that you're going to get too much data on the exact internet traffic and where the actual ad dollars come from. So provide that along with the, uh, you know, whatever monthly invoices we got going back and forth. And then after that, we just sit back and collect our money from uh, Google AdSense. Uh, I'll show you uh, at some point here, but uh, we have uh, we have an account set up and it's, it's serving ads and it's already paying me on my other sites. Okay, this is just talking about your, um, your social network. I got to thinking about it, but you've already built it. So you've already built a mortgage social network. And all I'm not really asking to do here is to join this partnership and to 
bring that social network with it. That's your equity contribution to this partnership is your role in that space with it. Um, your, your business, your traffic, your social network with this thing, 25 years doing it. It's very impressive. So that's a huge asset. And, you know, I can launch a site like this and I do plan on launching a site like this in other cities, but partnering with the top dog in the, in the area is the best way to go. And it's by far and away the best way for me to make money and for you to make money. And uh, actually, let's talk about that for a second. Incentives. Basically, um, our incentives are exactly aligned on this, you know, for both incentivized to spend time on it relative to the amount of revenue we generate. So, and that means at first, I'll be doing the lion's share of the work until it starts generating revenue. So it starts making sense for you to start spending time on it. Um, and one thing I'm including with the package is appearing at the top of all local searches and being in every domain. Uh, as far as the mortgage influencer uh, idea, there's actually a quite a bit of precedent for it and it's being successful as well. I'm guessing you've probably seen Selling Sunset on Netflix. Um, Beck and I have talked about this a few, quite a few times. Um, are they selling houses on that show? Or are they selling, you know, TV, TV hours? You know, the answer is somewhere in the middle. You know, they're making a shitload of money doing both. Uh, Ryan Reynolds went out and bought a English soccer club for like twenty-six million dollars, and this it made no sense at all as an investment in a soccer club, but it made total sense as a Production cost of a TV show that he just made a shitload of money on on Netflix. Now, at least catch has been going on for 20 years. That's an already existing industry, you know, private industry that they just stuck a bunch of cameras in and boom, it's one of the best TV shows of all time. So my point here is I'm not trying to say hey, we're going to be those guys, but taking and building a business off of the inner inner workings and opinions and thoughts of a mortgage leader such as yourself is a proven way to, to, to get internet eyeballs, to get the video watches, to get internet traffic. That's all it was. So check out Selling Sunset if you haven't seen it in the first Okay, still working on this. This is one of my, uh, my mission statement uh, slides from my patent, actually. So I don't need a footnote seat for this. I'm going to change this to the mission statement for a site, but it's going to be something like this. Uh, it's going to be uh, to provide the uh, most up to, to provide the most up to date mortgage micro information for residents of the greater Cuyahoga Valley region. That includes Akron, Monroe Falls and Stanley. And mortgage micro information is something that I that's a term I invented. Micro information is local information. Micro is local. Information is anything you can think of. It's news, it's mortgage rates, it's Mike's thoughts, it's Mike's business, it's the business of the mortgage going forward. This is the network I mentioned before. I guess some of the slides are out of order, so I'll have to, uh, I'll have to change that a little bit. But I have all these other businesses stood up already as part of the network. Uh, Eastern Trail, Still Mortgage, and my on-site OPC, uh, along with my YouTube channel, they're all actually have actual locations. Let me search on Google. Um, there's another one I've got in mind I'd like to do next. It's called Akron Mortgage, um, and it's going to be something similar to Still Mortgage. Okay, synergistic promotion. That's what the advantage of being this. It comes free with the pack. You'll get um, placement on all my sites, basically. So mortgage, like you know, you place whatever ad you want. To be honest with you, the ad is going to be a link. Let's say your picture on to your site. So, and uh, I have cross promotion on all my sites that way. This is getting into detailed numbers on what I've made some educated guesses. What I think a revenue customer stream might be and made some assumptions, but 
made some calculations. Bolting this onto your business has a potential to make your business itself about 20% more valuable. And I'm just talking about the equity value in the business. So what this is proposing to do is to jack up your uh, recurring revenue um, by about 20%. That equates to, you know, say 20 to 40 grand a year in take home dollars on top of a theoretical 100 grand a, or a month, I should say. So it'd be an extra 20 grand on top of that. So what does that mean? Yeah, that, that's what they do. That's an extra 20 grand. What does that actually mean? It means that on the sale of your business, on the back end, if your business is worth a million today, by bolting this internet business onto it, it's worth a million too. So that's what that extra, you know, four, I guess it's 14 grand in recurring revenue in this example actually means. It's, it's, I mean, it's like a, a hung out magical 14 grand. How do we do that? Launch Google AdSense into your business, inject it into your business, which is pretty unobtrusive, I think. And uh, let it serve up ads and let people click on them. And, so that 200 grand in extra equity value just by bolting this onto your site, that's actually, that's Mike Bernhardt's equity value dollars. So, you know, that, I don't, you're going to realize that someday. That's a, a theoretical number, but if you know, this internet business is worth this much to you, basically, it's worth 200 grand to you. So this is just going into what you, do with the extra revenue. Right? This is just me purely speculating. So just ignore this part of the presentation and think I'm overstepping or I might be. But I just got to thinking, you know, what one could do, you know, if they just, you know, all of a sudden had more revenue coming in from the same business that they had before. Obvious one. Take you know, take the 14 grand, stick it in your pocket. Spend it. It's an extra month. It's a you know that's a significant amount of money. I think it's an extra month anyway. It might be a little late to like here these days, but in any case, 14 grand is nothing to sneeze at. You give the employees a raise if you have, you know, employees that are worthy of it. Uh, they become happy and more productive instantly, as I was to the business. That's reinvesting in your business. Uh, what if you did something like uh, taking this money and buying back on every customer you had that month's rate by a quarter percent? What would that be? I think it'd be worth some more money on it. How many more customers could you get if you uh, could actually undercut everyone else in town like that? You know, nope. I did a lot of searching. Nobody else in town is doing anything like this. So uh, this is going to be our go to first. So structure. Incorporate still mortgage LLC in the state of Ohio. Um, we recommend a 50 50 joint venture uh, with the tiebreaker. I mean, this is going to be kind of funny. Usually put coin flips in contracts. I always do mess two out of three of them. That's like you can put in something else if you want. And I've actually heard Indian Lady wrestling as a tiebreaker. Um, I think this is fair. If the business is successful, this is, might be something you may want to buy and going to include in the contract um, a buy option right for you uh, to buy out it after 12 months. That uh, option will exist for 30 days. After the uh, 12 months after, starting 12 months after the execution of the agreement, you have 30 days to buy me out, buy 50% out at fair market value. And I get the 